Hi, welcome to our series about NFTs, where you will learn about all the technical aspects of creating NFTs on Hedera. I am Michael Mulders, I'm developer advocate and your host for this series. Let's get started. Let's dive into a fundamental concept of NFT collections on Hedera, the token metadata JSON schema. When we talk about digital tokens on distributed ledgers, we often encounter the term metadata. But what exactly is it in the context of Hedera Hashgraph? In simple terms, a token metadata JSON schema is a standardized format that describes the essential information about the token on the Hedera network. It's like an ID card for tokens, providing details such as its name, symbol, or other relevant attributes. But why is metadata so crucial? Well, imagine sending a package without an address. It would be chaotic, right? Similarly, Token metadata ensures that every token adheres to a standardized information format, making it interoperable and easily identifiable across various platforms and services within the Hedera ecosystem. Let's peek into the basic structure of a token metadata JSON schema without diving too deep into the technicalities. The schema defines three required fields. Name, full name of the NFT, type, the mime type for the image, and image, a URI pointing to an image stored using decentralized or centralized storage. Other optional fields include the creator field. You can use this field to add the creator name. The properties field. It's not allowed to add your own fields to the root level of the JSON document. Because the token needs to adhere to the metadata format to be interoperable on the network. Therefore, any additional data you want to store for your token can be added to the properties field like socials or website URL. Next, the files field. The files field represents an array containing file objects. For collectible NFTs, the files array allows you to store the, the high resolution image of your NFT. However, you can use this field for multi-file NFTs as well. And to give one more example, the localization field is used to link to another metadata file containing the localized metadata for your NFT. This allows us for a clean metadata structure where each language is represented by a new metadata JSON document. Next, the attributes field is used to store information about the traits and their values. This comes in handy to calculate the rarity of each NFT in an NFT collection. Attributes are mostly used for collectible NFTs. And finally, the description field is used to store any kind of information that describes your NFT collection. It's essential to note that schemas may evolve and different versions may exist. Always ensure to check the version field on the JSON document to understand the schema structure. In short, when a token is created on a DERA, developers define its metadata by adhering to the JSON schema. This metadata becomes a reference point for wallets, exchanges, and other services to understand and represent the token accurately across their services. And that's it for token metadata. 